say we have the first order linear differential equation y prime minus 2xy is equal to x and i would like to solve it well if you go with what you've been taught so far you'll your first instinct would be to try to separate this linear differential equation and what you'll notice as you try to separate it is that the x's and the y's will be stuck together no matter what algebraic operation you'll do that these x's and these y's can never be taken apart. So that's why I'd like to introduce this new method, the method of integrating factor. If you can get a first order linear uh, differential equation into this form right here, y prime plus p of x y is equal to some function q of x, then we can use the integrating factor to solve our differential equation. So let's go ahead and try that. So what you'll notice so far is that we have y prime, right? So that's this part right here. This part right here, we can associate, oh, it's a bit of a weird wiggle. This part right here, we can associate as our, as our p of x. This is our p of x. Then we have our, then we have our y right after that, and is equal to some function, some function, some function of x. In this case, we refer to it as q of x. Right, so it seems that our differential equation is in the proper form, and we can go ahead and move to the next step, finding the integrating factor. Well, if we solve for our integrating factor, what you'll see is that we have e raised to the integral of p of x. So p of x in this case is negative 2x times dx. If I keep solving for this, we get u of x is equal to e negative 2 integral. I was about to write negative 2 again. x dx. We take the last step. Uh, the integral of x is x, x squared divided by 2. So if we go ahead and we just simplify it, we get e, we get e to the negative x squared. e to the negative x squared. Right, so now that we found our integrating factor, the next step what we would want to do is we want to multiply, we want to multiply this whole equation, this whole equation by e to the negative x squared by our integrating factor. Now, if we do that, what we end up getting is e to the negative x squared times y prime minus 2x e to the negative x squared. Oh, negative x squared. I keep writing 2x. Negative x squared times times y and equal to equal to x x e to the negative x squared. Now what you'll notice if you have a keenly observant eye and are very familiar with your calculus is that this left-hand side right here, this left-hand side is actually, just, is actually just the product rule. Now, if you'll remember that the product rule is the derivative with respect to x of some function u times y, some function y, is equal to, is equal to u Ooh, I should write this as u y prime plus u prime y. And that's what we have right here. This, this part right here is actually just the product rule, right? We have, our, we have our u right here. This is our u. This right here, if we were to take the derivative of u, this would be it. Negative 2x e to the negative x squared. This is our u prime. And then we also have our y prime on the first part, and we have our y on the, on the right side, the second term. So now that we've established that this is actually just the product rule, we can rewrite it. We can rewrite it as the derivative with respect to x of u, remember our u is e to the negative x squared, times y, times y is equal to x e actually i should just write this in a different color 
is equal to x e to negative x squared. Now, if we go ahead and we integrate both sides while moving the, uh, the dx to the right-hand side, we're going to go ahead and integrate this side and integrate this side. What you notice is that this, sim this part simplifies right away because this is just a derivative of e to negative x squared times y, and we're integrating. And this is a derivative. The opposite of uh, differentiation is integration. So we're left with e to the negative x squared y is equal to the integral of x e to the negative x squared dx. Now what we can do is integrate this right-hand side, and it may look a little intimidating at first, but with a bit of u substitution, this actually turns out to be quite trivial. So if we substitute, if we substitute negative x squared to be equal to u, right? This isn't the same u as this u up here. This is u is the integrating factor. This u is just u substitution that we're using for integration, just to clarify. Then the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to negative 2x. Solving for du, we get that du is equal to negative 2x times dx. Well, what do we have so far? What do we have so far? Well, we have, we have an x, we have a dx, we just need a negative 2. And we can get that by multiplying the outside by negative 1 half. And the inside can be multiplied by negative 2. Now I can go ahead and I can rewrite this as our new u substituted integral. So we get e to the u du, right? So we have u right here, and then this part right here is our du. From there, we can just go ahead and integrate this. The integral of e to the u is just e to the u. So what we end up with is equal to negative one half. Our answer is e to the u, but we don't care about u, we care about x. And we know that u, we know that u is equal to negative x squared. Negative x squared. So we get e to the negative x squared plus c is equal to e to the negative x squared. And just to solve for y, you know, I here you're pretty much done. You have your solution, but if you wanted to solve specifically for y, just go ahead and divide both sides by e to the negative x squared, right? So we're going to divide this side by e to the negative x squared, and this side by e to the negative x squared. So these two simplify right here. This simplifies with that one. And then we're left with, we're left with the e to the negative x squared will be, I shouldn't say that it simplifies, but this one gets simplified and we're left it with it attached to our c. So our final solution will be y is equal to negative one half, negative one half, plus e to the x squared times c. And that's how you solve a differential equation by method of integrating factor.